hip hip hooray Harry Henry Care Farm is up and running 10 years now of course we had to put on a little celebration for this occasion so we had a family day for all to enjoy our place on a sunny afternoon we met old and new visitors some of you will remember Connor from our previous videos on therapeutic riding it was just lovely that he could join us on the day and give a little riding demonstration too. All children got a chance to have a go on horseback and there was face painting and lots of other fun stuff and of course we had a 10th anniversary celebration cake. And in the evening, we put on a Kaylee in the barn to finish off a fabulous day. Thanks everyone for coming. And the best part is that we raised a good bit of money on the day, which we will use on a lovely project I've had in mind for a long time. More about that soon. In the meantime, Trudy and Turnip's remaining puppies grew into beautiful, chirpy youngsters. Trudy weaned them perfectly herself and they spent their days coming along on hospital visits with their parents. Such friendly and sociable little dogs. Or roamed our fields between long naps until it was time to say goodbye and send them off to their forever home to their loving new family who will have their hands full with the puppy's energetic approach to life but will also have two new most adorable lovable family members all the very best to you all yeah. our guinea pigs had more babies if you haven't seen it yet, I just made a film about these wonderful little creatures. Check it out if you like. We had a complaint from our council about sight lines from our entrance onto our road. So, unfortunately, these great big trees had to come down to comply with safety regulations. They are about 40 years old and made it through so many seasons and storms and now they fall victim to some man-made rules. It was sad to see them fall but at the same time we don't want them to be causing an accident either. Seasons move on fast this year but it's been so warm well into September that the swallows were leaving late always sad to see them go and the place is much quieter without them look who ended up in our garlic drying shed a young sparrow hawk not sure what he was doing in there but soon enough he was on his way again doing what young sparrow hawks oh. usually do there he goes for a week, we had Manon, a French rider who explored the south of Ireland on horseback, visit our farm at the end of her journey for some rest and to get organised for winter. Her two horses and dog enjoyed the break, whilst Manon got handy helping around the yard and with some harrowing too. Thank you. Tim was flat out busy most of September getting the garlic for next year into the ground but of course he had fun whilst working hard too. It was time to start picking some of our apples and pears. We really have some magnificent crop this year. Oop. Amazing apples this year. And so many. There'll be lots of apple sauce and apple cake and apple crumble. And lots of other apple related things.
faster than we wanted to, the autumn equinox came around. As usual, we marked the day with a trip to the beach to watch the sunset and light a fire. We had some lovely full moon evenings too around that time, but then the first storm of the season, Agnes arrived with a bang. But of course we could hardly follow the weather station's advice to avoid unnecessary trips, with animals to feed and look after, so into the rain gear and out I went. Okay, so it's about half seven in the morning. Uh, the first storm for this season arrived. Agnes, cold apparently, <laughs> doesn't seem to be very windy with it yet, <laughs> but um, it uh, brought in a lot of heavy rain. So I'm all in my full weather gear. You can see all the way down. Oop, hang on. Down, 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 and then of course there's. Hang on, how do I do this? I can do it. Turnip doesn't need any full weather gear because his woolly wool is so waterproof he doesn't even mind the weather. There you go. Good night, rainy weather, isn't it, turnip? <laughs> yeah, it is. Come on, let's go and feed the sheep and get the horses in. It pushed huge amounts of rain across our area in big, strong gusts. The food bowl um, is filled with water. Baby sheep! There they are! The nice rest in the hedge. Hi! Breakfast! Alright! Oh no, it's down there! Mr. Otto! No, <laughs> that's the empty bucket! Lads, I put it in the bowl already! And there it is! I know, doll doll! But look, it's rolling off you! Luckily, it was still very mild, so the horses didn't mind all the rain too much because their hair is designed to let the water run off their bodies whilst their skin deep under the fur stays dry. still be in for some blustery um, gusts. The wind picked up as the storm moved along and sadly it pushed over our wonderful lime tree in front of the house. It broke right off so there's no chance of propping it up again somehow but hopefully some of the shoots might grow into a replacement tree eventually. Winnie's foal, Wallace, is a sturdy youngster who very much enjoys the outdoor life, with his plush thick hair keeping him warm and dry. Watching them in the field, I can see that it is almost time to wean him from his mum. He spends more and more time away from her. Of course, he still enjoys her milk whilst it is available. But soon enough, he will be fine without and will be ready to move on to his new life elsewhere. 
Buttercup is still as adorable as geese can be, but he has an attitude and is very upfront and into everybody's face, which is often misunderstood by humans. He doesn't mean any harm, but I think a wariness of geese is almost intrinsic for us as their pinch can hurt. He considers me as his mammy, so is on his best behaviour with me at all times. But I will have to think up a strategy on how to avoid misunderstandings with other humans coming to the farm. Anyone have any experience with muzzles for geese? Buttercup, of course, is best buddies with Turnip and both follow me around the farm doing my chores, which was very nice for Turnip too at the end of the month especially, as Trudy came on heat again and had gone to a friend's house for the duration and Turnip felt very lonely for her. All right, Buttercup. Are you coming along to help? All right. 